if you could bring something back from the 70s or 80s, what do you think it would be? from the 70s, if they could. That's the fun question for tonight. My name is Adenike, right here at the premiere of Lotana, okay? Let's go. If you marry taxi driver, I don't care. If you marry lorry driver, I don't care. If you marry railway driver, I don't the music. <laughs> I'm just proud of him. I'm proud of you, iFan. <laughs> Um, I remember when I first started talking about this movie, like I think three or four years ago, if I'm correct, and um, he was so excited about it. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Tell us about your 70s outfit. Um, well, you know, when you say 70s, we always stick off Afro. So it makes life easy. So I just got the Afro thrown in, and then Missy Atagame made the pants for me. Um, and then I found a top that I loved because it was a hipsy kind of period, so they loved all the. It was a sexy era. <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to in Lotana? Uh, oh my goodness, I think Lotana has been a long time coming uh, because I have heard about the movie for quite a while. So um, I'm looking forward to obviously an old school story because I've seen uh, some of I've seen the trailer and I've seen some of the pictures like the BTS pictures. I know it's some kind of movie that was set like um, in the 70s. Uh, yeah. So yeah, looking forward to being entertained. Why did you film? We filmed in Abiyakuta. In Abiyakuta, basically, it's uh, it's an old town. It's an old town, so. We wanted something that would look like what we're doing, so we don't have to do too much in terms of exterior aesthetics. So, and the only place we could go to was Apiokuta. Apparently, we've tried to get one or two places to do one or two stops. They've gone to just here, there, and Apiokuta is just the place. Lutana, when are you going to play for me? Music day your blow. No teeth. I thought you said no guns. Have you seen the trailer? I have seen the trailer and that's the reason why I'm here tonight. And the caliber of actors that was also involved in the movie, that's I'm like blown away. I'm like, okay, something different for a change and that's why I'm here to see it. Uh, if you could bring anything back from the 70s, 80s, what would it be? High colored shirt. Really? Yes, I love, I love high colored shirts. Maybe not to fly it as I, I'm doing right now, but the high colored ones. You know, now we're all big shop color, we're all, you know, tiny, tiny colors, we button tiny colors. I love the, the errors of the. <laughs> I love it. Wall of Jericho right there. Yes. And try to bring it back. Maybe the world will follow suit. I like how you said try. <laughs> yeah, now I'm joined by the one and only skinny girl in transit. <laughs> Abby Bola Craig, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? Beautiful, thank you. Look beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Now, the theme for tonight was the 70s, so I see you have the sequin. Yeah. Some leggings on, so hopefully I'm like, you know, theme compliant. I tried. It was hard, but I I tried. No no afro ways, but I tried. What are you looking forward to in the movie? Um, something refreshing. Usually, I, I, I really um, tend to like keep an open book. Because I don't, I don't want to place too much expectations on, um, on anything. So, but with what I've seen from the trailer, I've, I'm, I'm looking for some good. I'm the man who rents the guns, plus the ammunition. I have seen the trailer of Lotana, and I am super excited. Um, I think it's really lovely. I, people can call me a Nollywood freak, but I think it's really, really lovely when I see movies that seem to be done well. And this, it just makes me rejoice. Like I saw the trailer and I was like, this looks really good. He paid so much attention and you have to give him credit for that. When I looked at the time he was setting and the dressing and the set dress up and, and the set design, all the little clips I saw, people might just sit and look at pictures. I looked at everything and I think iPhone has done a great job. So why Lotana? How did Lotana come about? 
Well, Lutana um, is, was, is, was a dream because I wanted to make a fame, a good fame, and a good period fame. So I met a friend called Gosselu Cable who um, was trying to develop a, um, a story. And then um, in between, we shot the fame, but it wasn't right. And then we had to reshoot. But well, like a couple of other stuff. But me, I'm more about setting the pace for myself and not following the crowd. Like having something that puts me away from every normal yeah, person out there. Yeah. So every time I go see a movie, I always take something. They always teach me a lesson for life, in the future or in the present, somewhere. So I am looking forward to what message I would get from Lutana that I would take home with me. You know I made it, guess I made it. How can I forget? This is what made me. This is what set me. And gave me hope to find my dream. Now the taste of victory is great. And I finally see the light to say I made it and it's just fine, but I remember.